Oh man, it's about time for the next overload challenge. I'm super excited for it. Man, I don't know what I should do. Maybe, maybe some of the comments on my YouTube channel would be some help. Eric, when are you gonna go on a diet? Look at you, dude. Eric, dude, you're getting massive and fat. Haven't you even begun to notice? Notice? I think they meant to say, it's time to eat some hostess. What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again. My Electric Empire with another video, but not just another video folks. I'm coming back to you guys with another overload challenge. If you guys are new around here, if you're new to overload challenges on my channel, overload challenges are fantastic. I basically take a particular food item, for example, a Reese's peanut butter cup, and I go above and beyond with that item. Ice cream, cereal, donuts, candy, everything guys revolving around that food item, I feature it in an overload challenge. Ever since I dropped that Hershey's overload challenge, you guys have said that you want to see Hostess and I'm going to be bringing it to your eyes today. And everyone, that's perfect because here in America, we don't just have Hostess snack cakes. We have Hostess cereal. We have Hostess ice cream. We have Hostess... It's actually pretty much what we have. So Electric Empire, that's just it. It's time to get Hostess crazy. Let's do this. Let the hunt for the Hostess begin. Well, Target's Hostess selection obviously sucks. We gotta make another stop. Second stop. Hopefully they have my Hostess. Alrighty guys, this is absolutely ridiculous, but we gotta make a third stop. Apparently there's just not enough hostess in the world. All right, third and final try. Let's do this. Well, alrighty everybody. I think we got all of our hostess. It's time to get this home and get this all presentable. Alrighty, Electric Empire. Guys, I am super excited for this one. It's about time for another overload challenge. And I just wanna say everyone that I went on the biggest wild goose chase of my entire life trying to get these items. So I really, 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 really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day whenever you guys are seeing this. And let me just tell you guys right now, this is gonna be a lot of sugar. I wanna get this out of the way first and foremost, and hopefully, we will be able to remember to, to actually get my, my reading after the challenge is done. If you guys remember, I did the Cheesecake Factory menu challenge. I tried to eat all those cheesecakes. I got my blood taken before it and didn't actually get a reading after it. So for this challenge, Mrs. Electric, are you ready to lance me? <clears throat> oh, you're so dramatic. I don't like being pierced like that. No, why are you doing it again? Because I don't know if we got enough blood. Oh, you're so dramatic. I don't like it. It feels bad. Of course. Did you turn the thing on? No, is this what's wrong with Probably. Okay, that's not good. Why do you think it's to be so hard to work? A few moments later. Maybe we should write the instructions first. Well, the instructions are right up there. <gasps> Two thousand years later. Please. Someone inserted the wrong... Don't, don't. Just... Don't be dramatic. Oh, yeah, that was good. It's really scaring me how much you enjoy this. Gosh, this is so frustrating, dude. Two hours later. You probably gotta do it again. <sighs> Yay! So, my blood glucose is 123. Can't really see it because I got lights. It says 123 right there. So, we're gonna see what it's like after this challenge. Goodness gracious. All right, everybody. So. Everyone, this is the Hostess Overload Challenge. We have a tons of goodies to choose from, but first, before we get to the goodies, I got the essentials at the store. I don't know if I'm actually gonna need to use my health and fitness for this challenge, but I got it anyways. I got some decaf coffee, cashew milk right there. Before I get into all this though, guys, I'm gonna need some serious motivation for this challenge. One second, guys. Guys, got a new tank top. Data remember, one of my favorite bands of all time. I had to have the tank top on for this challenge. Now, everybody, we can get into all the goodies. We have cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. Boom, that's gonna be excellent. We have dinners. I actually can't even remember what these taste like. Oh well, they're still gonna be delicious. Fruit pies. Guys, if you had a childhood, you had these during your childhood, all right? My favorite flavor was actually the apple, so I got apple. And these are like 500 calories each. It's an overload challenge, so why not, people? Next, we have the Honey Bun 
cereal. This is absolutely amazing, guys. I love this cereal. Powdered donuts. These are amazing too. Guys, pretty much everything about Hostess is amazing. But there are some not so amazing things about Hostess too. I'll get to those in a few seconds. <sighs> Peanut butter. And you guys are probably gonna hate me, but I did just get these for the thumbnail. Not just these, I did get these for the thumbnail. A few videos ago, I actually ate these already, and they were an EWW moment, and they definitely don't taste like powdered mini donuts. Anyways, guys, if you want to see me eat this, go check out that video. And then we have cinnamon rolls, people. I am so excited for these. I love cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls are amazing, and these are like 400 and 10 calories per cinnamon roll, so we had to include these in the Hostess Overload Challenge, okay? More pie, Ooh. and these crumb donuts are sensational. They are certainly fire. And here we go, everybody, Twinkies. You guys are probably wondering right now why I don't have a box of Twinkies here. And here's the thing, everyone. I feel like a lot of you are really not gonna like what I'm about to say, but I'm not the biggest fan of Twinkies. In fact, I really, honestly, don't even really enjoy eating Twinkies. So I didn't get a box of Twinkies, but I realized that if I did a hostess challenge and I didn't put Twinkies in here, I was probably gonna get destroyed. So we got two Twinkies. Oh, jeez. Goodness, you got a arm on you. Guys, I realize I just said I don't like Twinkies, but you guys know what overload challenges are all about. They're about variety. They're about getting everything when it comes to particular food items. So I found the last container of Hostess ice cream and it happened to be Twinkie, all right? I've had the snowball one, I've had the cupcake one, and those are good, but I had to settle for this. Last but not least, everybody, I know a lot of you in the comments below right now are shaking your heads. You're going, Eric, why did you buy the cereal and the Nutty Bars for the thumbnail? But guys, guess what, okay? I'm making it up to you. I got something delicious that I've never actually had before. We have Hostess cookies and cream. Brownies, everyone. These are going to be sensational. I love Oreos, so I figured, you know what? Why not get these, all right? It's going to be a good challenge. Oh, and before I get into the challenge, though, people, I got to update Snapchat and Instagram. Let them know what I'm doing right now. If you guys haven't followed me yet, you guys got to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Eric Electric. What's up, Instagram? Shut up and start eating. Just sorry. <laughs> I mean, everyone's probably saying it already. <laughs> little do they know that they're in for a little treat. Before I get into this challenge though, folks, I gotta ask you guys, you know this is the Hostess Overload Challenge. What is your all-time favorite Hostess item, okay? Let me know down in the comments below because honestly guys, Hostess makes pretty much everything. You know, I'm gonna get a lot of different opinions about not getting a certain thing or liking something a little bit more than the other thing, but guys, Hostess makes everything that's sweet and delicious. You know what? I'm just super excited for this challenge. There is so much Hostess deliciousness on this table. I'm so excited. I know I'm gonna get a lot of feedback like I just said, but I don't like zingers, snowballs, and ho-hos are my least favorite Hostess items. I realize that I'm probably gonna get a lot of people telling me that I'm crazy, but guys, I grew up eating this stuff and I have food preferences, all right? Now, Electric Empire, we're at the point in the video where I gotta let you guys know, my Electric Empire, that the total calories for this entire Hostess Overload Challenge, those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And everyone, we're all about health and fitness here in the Electric Empire, despite the massive amount of sugar that's on this table right now. Total macros, that means protein, carbs, fat, lots of sugar. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. Without further ado, my friends, my family, members of the Electric Empire, this is the Hostess Overload Challenge. Let's do this. Already Electric Empire, we got our thumbnails taken, everything is ready to go. I'm super excited to get into this one, people. Before we get started though, people, just like with every challenge, you guys gotta give the video a like. If you poop today. I have it. Also got my Electric Empire mug right here because, guys, like I said earlier, with, with sweet challenges, gotta have some coffee, even if it's, it's instant coffee. Instant coffee is actually really good, and it does help people. And you guys know you can get the Electric Empire mug down below in the store. Three mugs? Babe, I like coffee. I think I'm gonna do the cinnamon rolls first. Mrs. Electric, would you mind? Probably shouldn't microwave these with the pack packages on, right? 12 seconds later. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right, so we got our cinnamon rolls right here, and now it's time to get this challenge started. Ladies and gentlemen, Electric Empire, it's time to get this Hostess Overload Challenge started. Let's do this. You guys know, that's fire. Just like every time I bite into something sweet like a cinnamon roll, it's gonna be fire, guys, right? By the way, everyone, there's a plot twist coming to you guys. I've been watching my man, Nick Akato Avocado lately. I've been doing mukbangs on my second channel. So I was like, you know what? It's perfect time to do a mukbang, everyone, all right? So if you guys don't know what a mukbang is, we're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put that right there so you guys can check that out. And um, yeah, grab a meal, enjoy this with me. I mean, 
Yeah. Basically, if you guys just come to my channel to see mass food consumption, you don't really care about me talking, this might not be the video for you. But, it's all good. Cinnamon rolls and coffee is amazing. Mm. I also got um, a little friend to all the ASMR people. So we're gonna do a little, you know, ASMR moment here. Hi, is this on? Okay, cool, we're good. You know, guys, I haven't done a food challenge slash mukbang in a long time. This may be really boring to you guys, but sometimes I just gotta slow it down. I gotta have a you know, I love watching fast-paced food challenge videos, but, you know, sometimes I just gotta slow down and, and connect with you guys. So how's your day going, everyone? How's your day going? Mine's going pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I got a lot of food here, so. Should I chew into the mic? Ooh, is that not? Oh, gross. People are probably like, eh. You're so boring. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm enjoying these cinnamon rolls right now. I do smack my lips a lot. So I'm sorry. I'm going to keep the calorie counter right there for you guys. And also, um, yeah, never mind. See, that's the hard part about these is like, I say so much stupid stuff. Um, go away. Um, I say I'm um a lot. And I have a minor speech impediment. So every single time I film videos, I like slur words a lot. And I just say a lot of stupid stuff. So, This may be uh, one of those videos where you guys just go, Eric. Keep your videos the same. Don't do these ever again. But if you guys want to see these again, let me know. All right, so cinnamon rolls are down. Absolutely delicious. These are amazing too. Fun fact, guys, I discovered these at a very, very young age. And I love them very much. I think I was probably like six years old when I ate these for the first time. Whew! These are sensational. And I realize that I, I say I say the word sensational a lot, but I get that from my grandpa. He says it all the time. Boom. Oh yeah. Whoo. Those are good. The only thing with these, you eat too many, you get stuck to the roof of your mouth.
I'm going to be editing this. I'm going to be like, bro, why do I chew so weird? So I'm super excited to go to New York. I probably should finish my, my, my food before I say something. Go away. Why is this not here? I'm super excited to go to New York. That's going to be coming in August, you guys. Um, we're, we're going to be leaving on the 6th of August. And then we'll be leaving New York slash the East Coast on the 21st. So if you guys know of any food challenges, you should definitely let me know where to go. Because I'm looking for some. Alright, so powdered donuts are down. The hard part is just like choosing which thing to eat next. I think we gotta do these um, cinnamon streusel of coffee cakes next. Oh man, I haven't had these in forever. I love coffee cake. One of my favorite things to eat. <laughs> this is electric cakes when I do that. <laughs> And by the way, Mrs. Electric and I are not married. I just feel, I, I feel like I need to call her Mrs. Electric. Because I feel like we are married already. Maybe I should unwrap these next to the microphone. Listen. Cool. Oh, these are the best. And I'm sorry, guys, if I say bomb or fire or... WOW. I don't even know how I started saying WOW. Guys, I should have said this at the very beginning of the, of the of the video. You know, you guys might learn a thing or two about me. I have a lot of fun facts about me that not a lot of people know about. Um, so, like the speech impediment thing, I guarantee you people probably would not know that I have that. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Oh my goodness gracious. This is like the best thing ever. I forgot how good these are. Very, very good. I can't really say anything else because it's just amazing. On another note, though, I'm super excited. I know I'm like 100,000 away, but 1 million subscribers, guys. Oh, man. I haven't got something planned for 900K, but the 1 million I'm super stoked for. All right, so those are all down. I don't know what I should do next. What should I do next, babe? Um, do... <laughs> All right, guys. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, yum. She's my cherry pie.
Hey babe, would you mind getting the ice cream for me? Oh. What? I got one. I'm not doing the cherry pie next. Flavor fatigue is like, guys, with these, it's like, sugar gets really hard to eat when you eat a lot of it. Oh my goodness gracious. That's amazing. Like my stomach capacity varies between like 10, 11, 12 pounds, sometimes 13 to 14. If I really push it, it gets more than that, but and a lot of people ask me what like the worst challenge I ever did was. I have so many of them that I don't know what to say anymore. I would say probably like the worst of all time. Well, restaurant challenge wise is probably, oh man, the, the cheese stick challenge, the, the Texas one. That was, oh, that was rough. It's like a jelly. I have to say that my best challenge, my favorite one, it's probably my first date with my girlfriend. All right, guys. Doing good, but we're doing we're doing really good so far. Talk. I think next I gotta do the honey bun cereal right now. Stuff look like, looks absolutely amazing. See, I just cleared my speech again. Dang it! Doing this one now. Honey buns. Goodness, man. Yeah, I know a lot of you are gonna go, Eric. Why don't you just eat the powdered powdered donut cereal? Honestly, guys, it was just one of those things where I totally was like, why did I buy that? Why did I eat that? It was horrible, but I ate it anyways. But I realized that and a lot of people are gonna ask me like, you know, Eric, why didn't you get that for your hostess challenge too? Um, and you know what guys, you, you can't please everybody. So I had to get it just for the thumbnail. Um, let's do this right here. That no more, that effort, that determination. That is a W W W O W Y. Oh, so you guys see it? Normally I'd be like, okay, that's. I'll just redo it again, but oh well. This stuff is sensational. I don't know a lot of people are gonna be like, Eric, why don't you get the honey buns? Why don't you get cupcakes? This is my, I guess, 
this is my honey bun right here. And the cupcakes, everyone, I feel like those are best when you eat Little Debbie cupcakes. So, that's why I eat cupcakes. Guys, the cereal, I'm gonna say it again, it's definitely fire. Definitely fire. Stuff, it goes hard, guys. It goes very hard, boom. Gotta get up close and personal for the ASMR. I actually think Matt Stoney did a hostess challenge. I know a lot of people are gonna be mentioning that now down in the comments below. Guys, I'll never be as good as Matt Stoney. Matt absolutely destroys me. So many ways. I'm gonna just want, you know, people to like. I just want to do a challenge with Matt so everybody can actually see how much better than me Matt is, you know? But maybe in the future. He doesn't collab with anybody, so if you guys want to see a collab with Matt, you gotta go to Matt's channel and tell Matt. Don't tell me. I see it enough every day. Tastes like a Twinkie. Normally right now I'd say EWW, but you guys already know how I feel. There's that apple. Yeah, this mic is no. All right, guys, so the fruit pies are down so far. Hostess is doing amazing. Hostess is, they're good guys. It, it, honestly, despite the fact that I don't like zingers and I don't like all that other snowballs and stuff like that, I think I got a pretty solid selection. Like I said earlier, you guys gotta let me know down in the comments below what you guys like. This is gonna be so rough, dude. I'm wrapping all these. Nah, because then you get a bunch of people going. Ooh, can you send me pictures? Of <laughs> no, no, they they did that. Okay, when when we did our Texas tour, and a lot of people had a lot of opinions about my girlfriend being in my videos, and that's fine, you know. Um, I was actually more sad about the fact that people don't, you know. I did that for charity. Every single time that I do a food tour, everyone, I do it for charity. You know, I feel like with how much disgusting stuff goes on in the world, you know, cyberbullying. 
you know, people getting, you know, harassed online. You know, we have people even in other countries getting, you know, killed and uh, in other countries, like I said, and I feel like it's, it's my job to, to do good, to put good into the world. And so um, that's why I do charity stuff. Like I feel like, especially as a YouTuber, a social media person, you know, I need to do everything I can to help people, you know, have the power to do that themselves. And so I do that every single year. And last year I did it and people just did not care at all. They just watched me for, for fast food videos and that's totally cool guys. I still love you all. I realize that, you know, you guys aren't all the, I, I say that and you guys aren't, I'm not saying everybody is, but you know, I'm still stoked to do it. I'm still gonna do it. Just like I'm gonna put this peanut butter on this. What is it, what are these? What, what did I just open up? Brownies, weren't they? No, they're the... Ding Dongs? Ding Dong. That's amazing. Oh, peanut butter is amazing right now. Ding Dong. I mean, these are pretty much the same as cupcakes, so. They are. I don't care what I'm going to say. What if I made... What would happen if I made... a peanut butter sandwich with these? Oh my goodness gracious, just look at it. Guys, I create these these works of art with food sometimes and I'm just so impressed. Even though it's really not a work of art, I'm just putting peanut butter between two cupcakes. That was amazing. This was like my little girl fantasy Ooh. cupcakes and just everything. I feel like the, the fat kid from Matilda, that movie. I basically feel like him right now. People keep telling me to recreate that scene. I'm like- uh, Go get a chocolate cake from Costco. Not enough people know about that movie. I don't know, well, maybe. Could you throw in a clip of it? I could. Tell everybody to go watch Matilda. I did. I did a, sh a Stranger Things challenge last year with Eggo waffles, and no one. That's because Stranger Things was not that good. Show. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of Stranger Things? Right? I love People it. Are gonna be like, what's that? No, new seasons coming coming this summer. I think. I love that show. By the way, guys, if I ever bite into something and put it right there so you guys can see the inside of it, I like to show you guys what the food looks like, even though you can pretty much already see what it looks like. I, I just realized I got Skippy peanut butter. Everyone's gonna be like, it's not the Skippy overload. Why'd you get, why'd you get that? Babe. <sighs> Eating this pretty fast. <laughs> like, I thought this video would take me like an hour. Oh, babe, you still got the ice cream. Go. Babe, don't remind me, okay? Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. You're sassy. Sugar makes you sassy. The sugar actually makes me very sassy. There's only so much longer I can start, I can do these sugar challenges because like I already feel like my heart is beat, racing a thousand times per minute. In case you guys know, like in, in case you guys don't know, my love basically rubs my stomach. 
No, I do not. After each challenge. <laughs> no, she doesn't. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. There's so much trash on this table. You are the most messy eater. It was funny because in the, the heart attack girl video, everyone thought you were just a random person saying that. They're like, how could she, how could that random person just say you were a messy eater? No one knows that was actually my girlfriend. <laughs> well, that kind of hurts. Can't push them all, babe. Well, they know now. All right, guys, well, those, uh, what are they even called? Ding dongs. Ding dongs, ding dongs are down. Now, I think it's time to move to the Twinkies ice cream. <laughs> Excuse me, I, do you guys think I should, should censor my burps? I think it's pretty funny, honestly. But, oh my goodness, it looks like a, I don't even know what that looks like. Here we go, let's, let's try this out. Apparently there's like little Twinkie, pieces in it. Oh wow. That was actually pretty solid. I mean for being light ice cream. I can't remember how many grocery stores I went to to find this. It was a lot. For you guys, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys a lot. That's why I do these crazy challenges every single week. Napkins to the party. Whew, man. Guys, there's like a certain mark that I reach where the sugar just obliterates me. It's called hitting the wall. And, uh, yeah. It's starting to hit me right now. I don't feel like, I think a lot of people watch these challenges and they go, dude, I could totally do that, man. So easy. And then they like do it themselves and they're like, bro, like never mind, man. Never mind. And uh I don't know. Like this is rough. Very rough. These are good. Here, just so you guys know, this oh, mukbang stuff is like fantastic and everything. And I remember why I do food challenges. When I first started to like really take YouTube seriously, I was like, I want to give people what I like to watch. I want to put out into the world what I like to watch. And that's like kind of high energy, fast paced stuff. And I don't know. I feel like I had to slow it down in this video. I'm trying to just give you guys a little glimpse into how long these take. 
goodness, that gummy challenge. Oh my goodness gracious, that, that took forever. And different food challenge types kind of affect you differently. So like, obviously I failed that gummy challenge. And ones with high sugar, I kind of just gave it my best effort. Like I knew I was not gonna finish that cheesecake challenge. But I did it anyways, because I love you guys. Spilling wrappers all over the floor. I feel like I'm drunk on sugar right now already. I wonder how long I've been at this for. Let's do this. Let's try this. Cookies and cream Oreos. Or not Oreos. <laughs> Whatever these are. Not bad. Oh, they're brownies. That would definitely taste like a brownie. I'm glad I got these instead of, well, technically I got both of them, but I bought the Nutty Bars and I actually took a poll on Instagram. I love talking to my, my family on Instagram. And I said, what should I eat? Should I do the Nutty Bars or should I do these? And then and everyone voted for the cookie um, or the brownies. I'm sorry, everybody. I get a little belligerent when I have massive amounts of sugar inside me. And I was thinking actually about doing this for my, you know, like actually if I'm in a full like cheat day, if you want to call it a cheat day or calorie challenge, just like this, where I just sit here and I eat for like four hours, but I don't know if people would actually want to watch that. Would you guys want to watch that? This table is like destroyed. My ice cream actually isn't that bad. Not bad at all. You know, for the longest time, guys, if you searched mukbang on Google, my all-American mukbang from like 2016 popped up. And now, I don't know if it still does, I like, speaking of Wikipedia, I wish I could have my own Wikipedia page. Like, that'd be super cool. If anyone wanna watch and make me one, I love you forever. That is cold. Oh, that is cold ice cream. Never go wrong with peanut butter, people. Never, ever, ever. If I can get it out. <sighs> Who's done peanut butter on brownies before? Who has it? Who's done it? That was good.
Your brownies are like hockey puffs. Oh. Straight hockey pucks. Chocolate discs of terror. Also guys, when I do challenges, I get very, I make, I basically I have sound effects. You guys have heard them. I try to minimize them as much as I can, but sometimes I just can't. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far, by the way. I feel like mukbangs are supposed to be social eating. They are social eating. You know, I'm supposed to eat, interact with you guys. It's hard when I'm like trying to eat 15 billion calories of Hostess product, but it's all good. I have a serious headache right now. about me I'm very particular about my cereal to milk ratio and um, I don't know I like I like having a little bit more cereal than I do milk it's not very descriptive but whatever You guys should also comment down below with what challenge you guys want to see next. What overload challenge? If people are actually still watching up to this point, I mean, guys, I'd be very surprised if you guys are. You guys are still here if you're still with the flow of the video. I haven't said that in like, do you remember when I used to say that in every video? I haven't said that in like, I just realized I haven't said that at all. Wow. That's crazy. Um, if you guys are still here, if you're still with the flow of the video, what I need you guys to comment down below is <sighs> brownie. Do that because I'm about to eat this last brownie. Lame. What else should I do? I don't know. You're lame. <laughs> I was probably just like, Eric, shut up and eat. I mean, it's good. It's got peanut butter on it. 
The peanut butter, guys, is great and everything, but it's not a part of the challenge. It's simply used to enhance the food for me. All right, guys, well, everything is great. Everything is pretty much down. We have our cereal left and uh, some ice cream, and then we're good. God, sincerely, I love you all. And um, I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me over the years. Allowing me to keep doing crazy things like this. Once again, if you guys enjoyed this portion of the video, or if you like enjoyed the entire video, you guys want to see more of these. If this gets 20,000 likes, I'll do another one like this. So you guys got to hit that like button. I don't say it just to be annoying. You got to hit that like button, guys. You got to hit it. I also realized I'm a I'm a cereal slipper. So like I'm a coffee slipper. Bad habit. All right, guys, well, cereal's down. Now, this. This madness. It's all melted now. <laughs> guys, thing is, whenever you film YouTube videos and you just sit there, you take thumbnails, you uh, talk, you do other things besides eat, the food gets very, very cold. It also gets warm. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dispel any, you know, questions or comments that people always ask me like about the food temperature and it's generally cold and that's fine with me you know that's probably why i never deal with cravings or want fast food when i'm not doing food challenges you know because i'm just like dude it's not like quality food but whatever stupid nap oh Almost backhanded that cashew milk. By the way, guys, cashew milk, almond milk, I like drinking nut milk because I don't know, it's just I enjoy the taste. I enjoy the taste. 
I get that question a lot. <laughs> like a lot. Why don't you drink normal milk, bro? It's like, guys, after you've drink, you've had something like nut milk for such a long time, it just begins to taste like normal milk. And I'm not saying it's exactly the same as normal milk, but guys, it's just, it's, it's my favorite. I like it, so I'm gonna keep drinking it. It's actually good because I'm starting to get cold. Like when I do these challenges and I heat up. I'm getting cold now. Babe, I have my last two bites. You want to get that glucose meter ready? Oh. Why don't you just check it right now? What? Whoops. Why do just check it right now? Okay. A lot of people were very upset when I didn't give it give a reading it's during the. Babe, your fingers all sticky. Look it off. Or give me another finger. Hold on, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. I'm a good homeless person. Give me your, I'll poke your shoulder. Teens? Ow! Oh, that's a good one. Alright. Go. go. Teens, get your booty over here. Get over here. Only up 30 points. I don't know what, what the deal is with, with glucose. Maybe this is just a, not a good glucose monitor. But, oh well, maybe it's just like, maybe I just need to get a better glucose monitor. I think you only paid 20 bucks for it. 35. Excuse me. 35 dollars. Jesus. She's what? All right, guys, I guess I should show you all. The challenge is complete. I got my my, my reading and everything. It is 158. We were 30 points, but guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the challenge. If you did, be sure to let me know down in the comments below, of course. Let me know, Electric Empire, what you guys want the next overload challenge to be because I got a ton of ideas, guys. I really want to know from you guys, so comment down below. If you guys like these slow-paced videos, if you guys like the way this is formatted, be sure to let me know down in the comments below because like I said earlier, if this video gets 20,000 likes, I'll do another video that's similar to this. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Hit the notification bell, people, right next to that subscribe button so you guys get notified whenever a future upload happens. And follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You guys know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody.